Welcome back everybody into another back testing session. We are simply continue from where we left. I simply um, just updated my uh, actual spreadsheet with all the data of the setups that we saw live. So as we can see with a TP of one to three, we are seeing uh, that we are being profitable. As you can see, 53% of the of win rate. Um, we are uh, with the break even at two to one. We are taking uh, avoiding like seven wins, uh, but we are also avoiding 20 losses, which um, still on a one to three risk to reward. I would still prefer to take a uh, seven win, which will be 21 pips, uh, instead of 20 losses, which will be 20 pips. Uh, like uh, yeah, one to three. If you think about the risk, uh, still I mean twenty less losses is might be good um, because of commission, because of everything. But uh, overall, in theory, we are basically even. As you can see, we have as many uh, almost as many pips gained uh, with both of them. So um, you can see fifty two percent. A very positive expected value. Uh, we are seeing that most, basically half of the days are very very trendy, and only like ten out of fifty it's uh, really not really or not trending. So we know that uh, in New York, the uh, New York gold is trending quite often. I would say we can see that now we are taking a many most of the trades are um, break every test compared to the end of pullback mainly because of uh as you can see if we, we might see an example is it might be difficult now for me to take this buy which might be the end of the pullback because it's the actual um it's very counter trend for me at this point so if i want to focus on a in trend trade taking a buy after this price action is not really what i want taking a buy after this price action it's what i want so it's most likely more likely that i will take break and retest compared to uh end of pullback if i'm focusing on the lower time frame but let's continue with the next one which is the 20th of march so as you can see here we're going to go quite fast now i want to get it done more in the same time so we can see now that we're coming into new york open and uh, let me just give me a second because maybe uh, we need the economic calendar. Okay, yeah, so that in the case we have it ready. Okay, so um, as you can see, yeah, we are coming into New York Open. We have this relevant PSA which is also very close to this uh, to this previous one also we have these previous lows and this previous PSA of course we would love to see we can retest below these lows or very strong uh, momentum and direction on the upside so let's see now we is the start of the quite volume time during New York so I'm not going to take this buy because you know that uh, we know what happens yeah, that is just a fake out. So I will wait for some clear price action on the upside. As you can see now that price is failing to make any new high. So there is no real uh, trending and strong momentum. We are actually now seeing these strong bearish candles and that's where we can start to shift. I'm, I'm okay, I don't want to see, I don't want to see. I'm looking at the other screen. Okay, so that's where I want to see, I, I identify this. Uh, strong perception and I would love to see it breaking below over there for continuation cells so so far we had the retest of this low as our first PSA which would be uh, a, a win let's see if we have a continuation down below even yes so that's this will be the probably high risk high reward entry and the safer entry over there so let's see let's say that we take this one and that's it that will be a plus 45 okay that will be the trade idea 
I would love to see uh, now the retest of this previous PSA. Of course, now this is again a strong PSA that I want to monitor for the future. Okay, and probably these eyes even. Oh, yeah. So let's see what is the perception telling us. Also, we have this strong PSA. If it gets broken on the downside, we might even take a continuation and sell, especially if we form a structure of sort of support, then we could take the, the, the cells below that. So far, we have the re this retest. I'm over there. We might want to take a strong aggressive uh, cells. It's not something that I really love. This, for example, would be the end of pullback instead of break and retest. I would probably prefer to take to see now this resection and then take this retest for the continuation cells. Yeah, uh, but otherwise, the price is ranging, is now going above. Let's see what we see uh, above this resection. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Making above staying above the key level might be possible counter trend trade still you can see that how the the volume the bullish volume is little compared to the bearish volume that was doing the actual trend so i might be uh, sketchy and wary about taking a buy with this bullish volume is not that strong as it was the bearish one which might indicate that it's uh, so more of a pullback structure than change in the change and shift in the bullish one you can see now that we are seeing a double top let's see now if we stay below there and we go and retest these previous lows the possible entry would be with when a bullish candle retests this area and then for the continuation cell okay as you can, as you can see it actually it was not uh, this would have been too high risk to enter. I would have loved to see the break below. Uh, otherwise, let's see now if we have some more volume. We are coming into New York Stock Exchange opening. We are seeing a little bit more of momentum on the bullish side. If we close and we break and retest, we might take some possible continuation buy. For example, here would be high risk high reward entry on the bullish side. Which will be a loss over there. Okay. Minus 15. Okay. But let's see now if we have further continuation up. Yeah, as you can see, this entry would have been uh, better at the top of this previous eye. So we might have had. Uh, to another confirmation over there. I think this will be been stopped out. I, will, I need to check it. I think it will be. And then we could have probably re-entered over there or re-entered after seeing this top and then the candle breaking above. Okay, now then we are seeing a correction. A retest of the area, a little bit of sketchy perception. I would love to see now a clear break above because now we are very close to the previous highs, and I would love to see stronger uh, breaks below to see the continuation bearish now, closing below and probably below here as well and the key level. Yes, and that would be would have been the entry below here as I was saying for the continuation cells after seeing this rejection over there so we can see that now this was all about it, uh, pullback as I was saying you can see the volume is very much much lower compared to the time that it took to to do the same pip range uh, but doing the uh, actual trending phase you could also have had your safest entry below over there if you wanted to wait 
let's see now if the price will actually because i think we have, yes we have another hour let's see if the actual price gives us another entry below over there so for now this is a plus 45 as well there you go make an retest of these previous lows as again very good Price will continue down, it's bouncing from this key level. Let's see if we have any reaction over there. No, it went up. And yes, let's see if I have another um, another one. Okay. The blackboard, come back here. okay so that was it for the day basically it was the price action will actually simply slow down and stay into the into a range go back into a range so let's see the next day on the 21st we are seeing new york open price is coming very strongly bearish and we are seeing price making lower highs and lower lows making a uh, retesting uh, this previous highs this previous lows of course same same thing stands I would love to see probably a retest of this area during after the New York Open. I would love to see some break and retest of the previous market structure. So now let's see, uh, we're coming into some volume. Now we are creating the support. That's where we might want to see the break and retest after 8.20 a.m. Eastern. Or even, yeah, this retest of these previous highs. Yes, that's exactly when is the, uh, the 8.20. We open over there. We fail to break above. We might take this high risk high reward ourselves or wait for the continuation over there. Okay, further retest. Another fail, fail to break. Yeah, or maybe you will see over there. This area has been retested. I would love to take, I will not say that I will take this high risk high reward ourselves. But now uh, we are we are creating this market structure, so that's where I would look for sales opportunities. Nice volume coming in. Price staying below, we might take this high risk I want entry, but it's very close to this PSA. I'm expecting this to be broken strongly, but I expect also that it will give me an opportunity to enter with a retest. As you can see, an entry we have would have been two. Too hard, too too high risk, especially with these previous lows. So I'll, let's wait for some clear price action, giving us some safe entry. No need to rush. And let's see. Yeah, coming back to the PSA now, healthy, more healthy volume coming into the chart. It's uh, I think it, yeah, it's already after the the new four hour. It's now breaking below, retesting it, as you can see. We might take this entry over there. Let's see if it goes at least 40 pips to these lows. Retesting it. Yeah, first it will take us out. So let's, this will be a loss. Then I mean, we will be um, caught in a fake out, but you cannot, av cannot avoid it. Let's see now if the price is uh, coming back into a trend or what because it looks like we are in a range coming back to this same level i'm not, not sure if i will now i will want to take the same area as interest or wait for this uh, area to be broken price is quite sketchy and then we have a lot of volume after your stock exchange we simply have candles to, 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 to breaking below let's see if now with this volume we will have a retest of these previous psa's for a possible entry or not i don't know if we had any news uh, whatsoever it's a tuesday not sure yeah there's, there was nothing so let's see if it gives us a retest or it simply continues bearish yeah now we're creating a structure we might see a retest to these previous eyes 
or continuation below these lows. Yes, so that's, that was the retest actually on the dot, retest to these previous highs. And let's see if we now have a, a continuation below. We might possibly take this high risk reward entry. I'm not sure that if that would be a win or a loss. Yeah. And we'll have to check it, otherwise, I will re enter. So the price is showing that simply the price action is going strong. We have now this PSA over here on the left hand side. Yeah, this is actually tapping exactly the week. I don't know if this entry would have been a win or not. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it would be a win. Pushing back and then the correction. So we would have this one, this one. Okay. Let's see the, uh, what is the price action coming uh, now. So correction, are we breaking above or are we staying below? Yeah, I would not love to take buys right now. I prefer to take continuation sales below this level. Yeah, so far the price is simply ranging. So let's see if this entry over there which will be 1953 up to 1954.5. Yeah, it shouldn't be 55. Uh, yeah, so that's that's a 20 pip range. So yeah, that would be a loss. Uh, this one would be a loss because it's a 20 pip range. Okay. Let's see like this. And we, we could have probably re entered afterwards. Uh, that would be. Mm, yeah, it would be over here or simply this one. So, yeah, don't, we don't force it. So, that would be 150. Okay. So that was a nice and trendy day, 21, 21st of March. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, 22nd of March. So, trying to your copy. There's already some healthy volume, I would say. Uh, price is bouncing from this level. I would love to see uh, some. Uh, Clear price action over here above there and above there or breaking below these lows. So that's these are basically my trade idea so far. Let's see the price action. Okay, we have a twenty uh, happening already. I will not take the first sell or the first buy because that's most likely a fake out after the or the block. As you can see, price will stay below only 20 pips. Probably it would make sense to take an entry over there. So even if that would be a loss, after a while, failing to break. <sighs> yes, let's say that we take it. Not an healthy volume, you can say, and that will only go around 20 pips so far. So, yes, yeah, that will be uh, a loss, which will go only 20 pips. Let's see now uh, what is the price action telling us and uh, offering us above these levels. Oh, we could have also high risk high reward above there. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, very sketchy by section. Okay, now we have some healthy volume. Also, there was no opportunity to enter over, the, over here. Let's see if we have a clean break and retest of this area. Most likely, a break and retest will also go up above this level, and that will be difficult to enter over here for a continuation or wait over here for the continuation. That would be quite, quite sketchy. Let's see what is the price action telling us. Bullish pressure. This candle is closing, rejecting the, the high, so it's not really a breakout. Pull back to these previous lows. And now we have some healthy candle. We're coming into New York Stock Exchange opening. So that's when we have some more volume. Let's see if we fail to break below here. We actually break strong. So it's quite sketchy by section. Tapping again these previous lows. So that was sort of a retest, but I will only take above over there. So let's see what is the perception. What does it have for us? Nice volume over here. Okay, we might finally break above. And if we break above, I will expect some strong movement because of all this liquidity that's been uh, accumu accumulated over there. And as you can see, when I'm moving up, let's see if it gives us a retest of these areas before, con before pushing up. Now we are retesting the key level. And now we are retesting these lows. So I will take my second entry over there as per uh, pre-plan idea. Okay, not a healthy volume at all, I would say. We might easily uh, come back into the range and take me out for a second loss. Or even go to a win. So that's absolutely good. That's why you don't need to know what is going to happen next in order to make money. You just need to take your trade setup and that was it. Yeah. Plus 45. And we're coming into London close. We might also have this re-entry, breaking and retesting this area over here. I don't know if the price will go 45 pips, but yeah, that will be an uh, idea. No, it won't. So, uh, okay. This was the 22nd. Let's move on with the blackboard over here. So. Okay, 23rd of February, coming into New York open, very slow volume, still no direction yet, so I would love to see. Now we have these bisection areas, these highs and these lows. Let's see now uh, with the coming of uh, the start of New York at 20 a.m. If we have some, uh, for example, this clean break and retest, we might take it, even though it's the first tap of this, uh, this thing. So I might want to avoid taking it, but I would might also um, risk it. So it's because it's already 10 plus minutes after the New York open. So let's say that we take it and we might take a stupid loss or even take a win. So that's why I need to take it. <laughs> okay. Plus 45. Now let's see if we stay below this key level or we, or we retest this previous area. Okay, so far there was no market structure formed for me to take an entry. I wouldn't probably take an entry immediately over there. I don't know if there was any news, the 23rd, interest rate projections, yada yada, IFMC, ah, okay, the, on the 22nd we had FMC at the end of the day, so that was a big, a big thing. Okay, on Thursday we had the jobless claims coming in very, very, uh, very, very good. 
So even though the previous one was very bad, <laughs> it was revised on the upside, still was way an improvement than uh, expected. So that's why we had this strong bullish uh, price action. And yeah, probably you could have taken even this one, but yeah, it was too late and it was not that clear of a market structure. La looks a nice uh, bounce, as you can see. Price breaking and retesting, we might possibly have a 40 45 pips correction of the market structure. Now we might stay above this area, make a retest of these lows of these eyes. As you can see, yes, we can retest of these eyes. That would be the entry. If we stayed above, so as you can see. Uh, we had this area, we had this area for possible buys. Counter trend, yes, but uh, with the market structure. So, uh, plus 45. Very good. And now I want to see the reaction at these highs. I mean, it's an, not expecting a full correction and uh, breaking above over there. Yes, I might see this volume is very strong, but I'm I'm not really now on strong bullish bias unless I really see this area to be being broken. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Because price is still making higher highs and higher lows. So let's see if we actually manage to break above. Or oh, we now we have this last higher low. We might see the break and the retest on the downside. Okay, so far we are seeing the break and retest on the upside over there. The possible entry. Let's see if it goes 40 pips. Yes. So that Another, I mean, was quite unlikely, but it was is actually happening because it doesn't depend on us to to have or not this uh, the, the 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 price will go up or not. So some rejection so far. Let's see if now we correct on the downside. We are coming into a 10 a.m. candle. If we see a retest of this previous PSA. Or this one, even we might take high risk high reward sales to t just take out the profits, to just risk part of the profits, or maybe still below over here, still valid. Yeah, let's say that we took it just for the sake of it, and that will be a loss. Okay. Now we're coming to late and after London close, the USC price will stay below now because I'm not I will not take any further entry over there. There you go. So let's move on now with the blackboard. Okay, 21st of March, New York open, same thing. I want to be looking at these PSAs, or at these PSAs, especially with the retest above the key level. Okay, not taking the first one because now it's a 20. So let's see if we see some market structure forming. As you can see now, price is breaking above. And let's see if it gives us a retest, or it's just <laughs> pushing up. So there was no real entry, I would say, over here. Yeah, even though the A20 would, was actually over there. And an entry over there, I don't know if that would have been a win or a loss. So A20 was over here. So it didn't open spiking up, giving us a fake out. But uh, even that, in that case, I think the, uh, what, where could we could have entered. 
Yeah, it's after, uh, with this candle, that would be probably uh, over here. Because above the key level didn't give us any opportunity. Let's see if this entry would have been an actual uh, good idea, like two or three, four minutes after the 8.20 AM Eastern. But now, now let's see the actual price action. So, very strong fake out. I don't know if there was any news. Let's see, on the 24th. Okay, so yes, we had adorable goods, orders. So uh, we will not have entered anywhere uh, before the, the news. So let's remove that for sure. So we have uh, still worse than uh, expected, but still way better than prior news. This one is improving and even better than expected. So we might see some dollar pushing back. So uh, we might see some dollar strength. Let's see. Uh, what is the, the market structure telling us? We might take now some cells below over there to take advantage of the dollar strength. Do some break and read test. Yeah, might take, for example, high risk high reward entry over there at this candle close. Let's see. It's a quite a risky entry, we'll say. Maybe it's not even necessary to enter. Yes, and that would be a loss. Quite a rushed one. Yeah, that would be my loss. Not really the setup loss, but yeah, that's uh, doesn't really matter. Um, yes, we could have seen that the price was actually. Bound, double double bottoming over here so we could have taken a buy but yeah this was trading my opinion more than trading the actual uh, bias as you can see price is making higher high and then it's either over there or even over there taking buys so yeah anyway let's see the price action over there we see some Rejection, price is making new higher high. Okay, bouncing, bouncing. I'm still on the, on the bearish bias. Uh, because un unless we really break above there, or bearish bias, I would love to see it now below the key level, or below these lows, for the continuation bearish. Let's see. Okay, bouncing, bouncing, coming into New York Stock Exchange opening, staying below, possible entry over there, or over here even. Yeah, this might be a nice entry. Super high risk, high reward, super high loss. As you can see, I'm not able to focus on the fact that uh, we are still bouncing from these lows. I'm so, so focused on trading my opinion that the price should go bearish that I'm not seeing that the, where is the price is reacting to. Same third tap and same thing happened over here. Trying to take a sell after a bounce from a strong support. So yes, that's, that's my mistake. Strong now, uh, because also it was right before New York Stock Exchange opening, which opened over there. Um, let's see now if with this with New York search change volume we could uh, we can actually take some uh, some win some profits now yeah as you can see we're now breaking below possibly staying below over there yeah messy very messy and so at here because that's when we have other news so. We had the S&P showing a, a huge improvement, giving strength to the dollar. So I will take the sales below over there now. Sales. Yeah. Very, very messy price action.
Wow, so messy. Even knowing when it will go, I'm not able to understand where I could have entered. That's that's absolutely crazy. So this is one of the days where I, you, I could get fucked like multiple times. We might take now a cell below there. Uh, let's see. Yes, finally we could have some win. Staying below this level. Strong, weird, weird perception. Here, yes, yeah, this would top would be perfect, but yeah, it doesn't really make sense. So that this would be a win. We have now breaking also below this key level. That's where we could have taken further entry. That would be another loss, retest of the key level. Now we might see the rejection or not. Let's look at the how strong the, the bullish momentum is. So yes, that's uh, that's not doable. Very, very messy per section. So strong. I'm not saying that I would take this buy, but look how cute it is. Closing exactly at the at the level. Yeah, and that's that's it. That's, that was too messy, and simply the fact that I'm able to get out with a small profit is still very good. It's really uh, like make me give me an headache. This price action on the one minute. So now let's see on the twenty. Uh, yeah, on the on Monday. So this is the Monday. Okay, so over here, having with New York open, so I would love to see uh, some clean break and retest above this area or possible candles strongly breaking below. Even I have to take into consideration this previous PSA on the left hand side. So let's see uh, market structure and the price action, what is actually telling us. So, uh, very strong. This is the clear start of the actual New York session at 8:20 a.m. Eastern with the volume spike. Uh, I'm not really sure if I will take uh, this high risk, high reward buys, but the momentum looks strong. Still might be a fake out, but yeah. Let's see if we have a clean break and retest of this area. We might want to take it. Okay, so far it will have gone 30 pips and then pushing back down. Not something that I like. I don't really like to see a double retest. I would love to see it go, but let's see. Yes, so that would be a break even or a loss. Now let's see, let's see, let's see what the perception is telling us. Very strong bearish momentum. I don't think we had any news. Yes, we don't have any news on Monday. Now we are staying below these lows, but I mean, they're not really relevant. Now what we could have is this PSA. And price is staying below, not really giving us a clean retest, unluckily, unless I really entered this candle. But yeah, let's see what this price action will tell us. Okay, multiple failure to break below the new four hour, we are still in a sort of sketchy price action. We are creating this. This is the last lower high. Breaking it, retesting it. Okay, now we are retesting this area. That will be a high time frame, sort of end of pullback. Not really something that I want to trade on. And now let's see with the new sorry change opening where the price will push. If it pushes back up, 
above this level, I might take into consideration buys. Let's see. But this one we said, uh, I said that this one I didn't take it, but yes, that was quite good. It was quite rushed, I would say, to enter. The fact that it retested it, but I'm not really sure if I will be able to take it straight away. And let's see if we have a uh, now continuation bullish. Bouncing over there, bouncing over there. Dun, 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 simply bouncing, bouncing. Let's see. Okay. Not really happening the buy setup. Not really happening any sell setup so far. Uh, coming into 10 a.m. Yeah, we didn't have anything anyway. Okay. We might now be breaking above. Let's see if we have a clean break and retest. Yes. So far, it's breaking <laughs> without retesting anything. We might have the retest of this key level. That would be the possible continuation bullish. But then there's a volume dying down uh, quite hard, I would say. Uh, so we make this, let's make this. Uh, 27th, okay. So yeah, that would probably be a break-even trade. I don't know if that was a loss. So I would say this one, this one is very hard and I'm not really sure if I will be able to enter. But yeah, let's uh, let's just leave it like there with one single trade. Even though, as you can see, price actually gave us multiple <laughs> failure to break. The fact is that I don't trade the failure to break uh, setup. Otherwise, that would be uh, would be good. Yes, and we don't know if that uh, afterwards it will go into profits. So let's see. Let, just give me a second. So yeah, as you can see, it would actually go into profits. So if the entry would have been there, it would have been either a 45 pips or a break even. So that's actually good to know. Something that we can add to this entry to give us some, uh, some further confidence in this setup. Okay. Plus 45. Okay. Okay. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you next time.